Hi, Model Chili here, and welcome to my brand new channel. This will be dedicated to all things modelling, so models that I'm building, models that I've finished, models that I plan to build, and also other bits and pieces related to modelling, and military history in general, or other things like science fiction, uh, vehicles. I, uh, I do try to expand my, my models out a bit into the various topics, but this will be part introduction and part video build. So you can see here, I've, my latest model I've just completed is Tamiya's Cromwell Mark IV. And I'll just go ahead and get that out right now. And here she is in all her muddy glory. I went for the traditional Normandy green scheme, which in the painting guide is the Armoured Observation Post Tank 5th Royal Horse Artillery 7th Armoured Division. So I believe that's part of the Desert Rats unit. As you can see the symbol on the front there. Got some really nice decals, instructional bits of text. One on the turret that says, Key of turret here, check sealed envelope intact. And the next one down is, This vehicle is filled with antifreeze. So I can just barely read that. One third, two thirds and must not be drained. So I've made a couple of alterations to the standard kit. I've got a tiny little Union Jack on top of the top of one of the antennas here. I actually nipped this from an old HMS Trafalgar kit. This was supposed to be one of the flags, the Jack on the submarine. It was actually really tricky getting that to uh, adhere to the, the little piece of sprue there that I used by melting a bit of spare sprue over a candle and it took a, quite a few doses of microsol to get that to wrap around the plastic but I got there eventually, very tricky and the other alteration was I removed the one of the front fenders here just to give a bit of battle damage well wear and tear mainly and weathering I used a bit of Viejo pigments, mainly sand, which are mixed with a bit of colour to give different tones of mud and dirt. So we've got a bit of mud on the front there. And quite a bit down here with all the tools. I figure the troops would be muddying this area up quite a bit, digging trenches and whatnot, digging tracks out of holes. See a bit of mud around the wheels there. So got a bit of mud along the side of the hull. The different colours basically just achieved with different wet, different um, levels of just brown paint. I think it was a red brown paint. Tammy is one of their acrylics mixed with the pigments and a bit of water in there just to get the different colours. And the Viejo rust wash. Rust wash and a green wash are used for the main hull. And then a bit of dark grey just to get a bit of chipping on the side of the hull there and all the hatches. And on the turret, the hatches, various hatches, I've seen all the wear and tear. Now I did have a bit of a challenge with the Allied Star Symbol at the top here. Basically they just wanted me to put the star right on top of that little, I think it's, pretty sure it's a vent, but I could be wrong. There. And as you can imagine that took a lot of coats of Microsol to get that to conform to all the ridges. And then I had to use a knife to make it sink into that basically ridge there. And I used so many coats that the decal actually started to melt a little bit. So it's a bit more deformed than it probably should be, but I think from a distance it looks okay. And further around to the back, got four unit symbols there. And a nice bit of rust. Bit of rust under the exhaust outlet. 
and the tricks were just painted in a dark grey gunmetal, dark grey and gunmetal, and then given a rust wash and then highlighted a bit more with gunmetal just to bring out the shininess of the steel a bit more and then a flat coat to finish it all off so yeah, this was actually a bit of a weekend challenge that I set myself, I bought this last Friday afternoon and with the intention of getting it finished over the weekend and I actually got it finished complete as you see here by Monday night so I was actually quite pleased with that most of the builds took me until Saturday night and then I spent Sunday and then Monday night painting and weathering so it was quite a nice little kit went together really well no major problems and yeah and a scratch and a nice little itch I had just to build a really nice small simple tank and just to get a bit of painting done because currently I'm building a massive 1350 USS Enterprise from Tamiya the big aircraft carrier I've been doing that for about 3-4 weeks now so I needed just a bit of a break from that so that's sitting in the corner here uh, the deck's all done I'm just building the the tower now and once that's done I'll get onto the planes and no doubt I'll have a video of that pretty soon so I'm sure you can look forward to seeing that and yeah um, this did come with a, a figure but uh, figures at the moment are my biggest weakness um, I've tried several times to paint figures and it just always ends up looking like a toy when I put a figure in a tank so I really need to work on that. So I've got a few figures in my collection built up so so far so one weekend I'll probably have a real good crack at it just to get the right sort of skin tones locked down and all the shading and the highlights on the, on the clothes and hopefully I'll uh, get some good, good looking figures eventually but as at the moment all the tanks I build are pretty much just all sealed up, buttoned down everyone inside looks secure so yeah so that's about that bit for the Cromwell um, so yeah so hopefully this will be the first of many videos that I put on this new channel I've got quite a few models that I've built this year that I'll be quite quite keen on showing off to everyone you know, you know I'm not the most advanced modeler in the world or I've only been at this really seriously for a, a few months um, it's the same old story, I've been building models most of my life, and, you know, started off as a kid but I was never really that seriously into it. It wasn't until January this year that I actually got an airbrush, so I've spent this year actually having a real serious crack at it. So yeah, hopefully my skills are improving with each build I complete. I try to uh, try new things, test out different techniques that I read about on the internet try new things um, sometimes they work sometimes they don't please feel free to leave any constructive criticism in the comments below I always welcome feedback both good and bad it only helps helps us all really become better modelers and yeah so hopefully you've enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see any more of these videos as I said, I will be showing the Enterprise, USS Enterprise, soon, and also completed models such as the 1350 Star Trek USS Enterprise, another huge model that I finished earlier this year. So, uh, yeah, until then, have a good one. I'll see you next time.